Hello everybody, welcome to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH and welcome to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH College Edition. We are now opening Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH for college level lessons. And for our very first video for the college edition, we will have a subject orientation for Intermediate Accounting Part 1. At the end of the video, you should be able to have a basic understanding of the purpose of this subject and enumerate the lessons and topics covered by the subject intermediate accounting one don't worry po sa ating po mga subscribers ng search to us accounting lessons ph for the senior high school lessons tuloy tuloy pa rin po ang ating lessons for fundamentals of abm part 2 do naman po sa senior high school students who are uh, rooting for fabm 1 tapos na po siya meron na po you can visit lesson 1 to 33 and then sa mga nasa fabm 2 naman po ay nangangalahati na po tayo dun sa video, tapos na po yung statement of cash flows. And for college students who is who are first timers in search was accounting lessons PH, welcome and uh, again, this is intermediate accounting part 1. So this is our orientation for this subject. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng patuloy na sumusuporta sa Search was Accounting Lessons PH. Before anything else, please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be notified of the latest video lessons. And then for all questions, comments, and suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. And for webinar and speakership invites and any message that you want to send to me, please send me a message at kevintroy1994 at gmail.com. You may also uh, send a message to the Facebook page of Search as Accounting Lessons PH or if you really want me to read it agad, -agad and then you can uh, also message me in my personal profile, Kevin Troy Chua. Okay, so thank you po for your utmost support. So, uh, papakita ko lang po sa inyong college students yung mga nangyayari na po sa senior high school. Thank you po sa aking mga new ambassadors, which is Park Yong Bin and Jijet Ann Laurito for your support for Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo and sa lahat po ng patuloy na nagsasubscribe sa Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. Maraming salamat po. And uh, ganun pa rin naman po ang purpose. May these videos continue to help students in your online learning and may these videos also help teachers in their lesson plans and teaching methodologies. And then let me show you some shout outs these shout outs or some sample comments these are actually from comments dun sa ating senior high school lessons so i just want to show them to you from J. Ralph Nabaira. Sobrang helpful po, sir, ang ginagawa nyo para sa aming mga students. Thanks for, from Aklan. So, uh, nagugulat po talaga ako, sir, reach ng ating uh, accounting lessons. And thank you very much, J. Ralph, for your comment. And I am very happy and thankful that these videos are very helpful in your studying. Janelita Pichay, na-enjoy ko po yung pagtuturo nyo. Ha, 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 ha. So, parang tuwan-tuwa nga siya sa, sa way ng pagtuturo ko. But anyway, thank you very much po na na-enjoy nyo po the way that I am teaching in Search as Accounting Lessons PH. From Ralux Artuge. The best ka, sir. God bless po. God bless din po. Hindi po ko ang best. Ang Panginoon po ang best. Ha? Siya po ang nagbibigay ng knowledge sa akin at sa ating lahat. Siya po ang best. Wala nang iba. And then from Andrea Laulita, super thank you talaga, sir. Pag naggagamit na ng word na super, ibig sabihin matindi na yung pasasalamat nun eh. So thank you then Andrea, for for your support for this channel and then from Janelle Ilag ang galing nyo po sir, heart thank you po for creating this video tutorial and maraming salamat din po sa pag support at pag subscribe sa channel and then actually from Mom Casey ML thank you for this content, I'm an ABM teacher and it helps me to refresh my knowledge so it can help me discuss the topics clearly ma'am maraming maraming salamat po for using search as accounting lessons PH for refreshing your knowledge and 
and I hope that I was able to help you in your further development as a teacher. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong mga comments. Uh, these comments are greatly appreciated and these comments warms my heart so much. Maraming maraming salamat po. Okay, so welcome to Intermediate Accounting 1 for college students who are taking this subject this semester. Welcome po sa Intermediate Accounting 1. Okay, so this subject is formerly called the Financial Accounting and Reporting Part 1. Okay, but the content did not change. This course will discuss the generally accepted accounting principles underlying assets. So in the whole Intermediate Accounting Part 1, we will just be talking about assets. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, this course will discuss the proper recognition, measurement, and reporting of assets in the financial statements. So in senior high school or in your basic accounting subjects, you have talked about the financial statements as a whole, how to prepare these financial statements in its totality. Now here in Intermediate Accounting 1, we will just be focusing on assets and we will be talking about assets one by one, line item by line item. To give you a historical background, background of what intermediate accounting one let me first show you the comparison of the previous curriculum and the new curriculum or the previous syllabus of the cpa board exam and the new one okay nung kapanahunan po namin the cpa board exam has the subject practical accounting problems one and it covers the subjects principles of accounting and three parts of financial accounting and reporting Financial Accounting and Reporting Part 1 talks about assets. Financial Accounting and Reporting Part 2 talks about liabilities, equity, and other topics. And Financial Accounting and Reporting Part 3 is the college level constructive accounting. Yung senior high school po na discuss lahat ng financial statements, mas in-depth discussion po ng construction ng financial statements ang nasa Part 3. Kasama po ng other lessons like earnings per share, single entry system, cash to accrual basis of accounting. Kaya po siya tinawag na constructive accounting. It's more of calculation. It's more of constructing accounts. It's more of constructing financial statements. Kaya siya tinawag na constructive accounting. Now, in the new CPA board exam syllabus, Practical Accounting Problems 1 is now renamed as Financial Accounting and Reporting and in the new curriculum for college students as mandated by the Commission on Higher Education, Financial Accounting and Reporting covers these subjects. Financial Accounting and Reporting which covers your fundamentals and then siguro dito tapos na kayo kasi nasa intermediate part 1 na kayo or sa ibang school pinagsasabay to. Conceptual Framework and Accounting Standards and then Intermediate Accounting Parts 1, 2, and 3. Hindi rin po nagbago ang content ng Intermediate Accounting 1, 2, 3 sa dating Financial Accounting and Reporting Part 1, 2, 3. Nagkaroon lang ng restructuring kasi more of the theories are already discussed in Conceptual Framework and Accounting Standards. And Conceptual Framework and Accounting Standards is an introduction of all of the Financial Accounting Accounting Standards. Okay? Para hindi na kayo nabibigla sa mga accounting standard na dinidiscuss sa inyo sa mga susunod na Intermediate Accounting. So where are we now? We are here. Intermediate Accounting 1. Okay? So that's the placement of... Um, uh, our subject in the CPA board exam syllabus. Okay, so uh, these are the recommended textbooks to use uh, for your study of uh, Intermediate Accounting Part 1. We have numerous authors and I am recommending three of them. So you can have the book of Valix, Peralta and Valix, Conrado T. Valix, Jose F. Peralta and Christian Aris and Valix. You can also look for the book of Robles and Empleo, Ninita S. Robles and Patricia M. Empleo. Um, Ninita S. Robles is my professor in financial accounting and reporting when I was in the undergrad. And uh, Dr. Patricia M. Empleo is the current dean of the College of Accountancy, Alfredo M. Velayo College of Accountancy in the University of Santo Tomas. And then we also have an Intermediate Accounting Part 1 textbook by Professor Zuz Vernon B. Melian. By the way, Valix Peralta and Valix are from, um, uh, no, sorry, Valix and Valix. 
uh, from the CPA Review School of the Philippines, the review school for mga magte ng CPA board exam. Ayan, okay? So if you, so you will be hearing Valix or Robles Empleo in Million a lot. So if you can buy all those three textbooks para you can, it can give you more knowledge and more perspective, you can see the differences in these three textbooks, then much better. Okay? So let's have the grading system. Wala po kayo di-discuss the grading system dito. Okay, please check your school score syllabus for the subject. Ah, sorry. Please check your your school's course syllabus for this subject for the grading system. Now, for those who are under me in this subject, this will be sent to you as a separate message in our sections group chat. Okay, so lahat po ng handle ko ay group chat po tayo. Wala po tayong um, i-discuss dito kasi this is a general video for everybody who's uh, watching this in YouTube. So, those who are handled by Sir Chua in, in the school where I'm teaching at, you can, I will be sending you the, the details in our group chat. Yun po. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, at a glance, we will be covering the following topics to complete uh, Intermediate Accounting Part 1. We have Cash and Cash Equivalents, Receivables, Inventories, Property Plant and Equipment, Intangible Assets, Investment in Equity and Debt Securities, Investment property and other non-current assets and biological assets. Okay, so eight main topics, pero maraming subsections yan. Now, most of the account titles there are actually introduced to you in senior high school already. But the purpose of Intermediate Accounting 1 is to dig deeper to them one by one. Ano bang laman ng cash na nire-report sa Statement of Financial Position? How do we record? How do we recognize? How do we measure inventories? At the end of the period, how much should inventories be presented in the financial statements? What are intangible assets and what is the difference between a copyright and a trademark? What are investments in equity securities and why do we have the word debt when we're talking about assets? What are debt securities? Okay, so we will be talking about them in deep detail one by one. Now, for cash and cash equivalents, we will be talking about how to properly present cash and what are the cash items that should be reported in the balance sheet. And then we will be tackling also some uh, cash management techniques and internal control. Paano kayo hindi mananakawan ng cash? And then the petty cash fund, bank reconciliation statement, and the four-column bank reconciliation statement, which is called the proof of cash. For receivables, we'll be talking about the proper presentation of receivables in the balance sheet, how to properly uh, measure, recognize and measure them, and then how do we measure receivables subsequently. And then we'll also be talking about notes receivable, loans receivable, and different kinds of receivable financing. For inventories, we'll be talking about how to properly compute and what to recognize as cost of inventories and what shall be included in the book of accounts as cost of inventories. We will also be talking about different inventory costing methods like specific identification method, first in, first out, weighted average, and moving average method. And then some inventory valuation methods like gross profit and retail method. And the proper presentation of inventories in the balance sheet, which is lower of cost and net realization value. For property plant and equipment, we will be talking about how to properly recognize and measure a property plant and equipment acquired and then we will be talking about land building machinery and we will be talking about also different depreciation methods. So, hindi na lang po straight line method. Yung alam nyo, magkakaroon na rin po tayo ng uh, units of production method. Um, uh, tawag dito SYD or the sum of the years digit method and then how to properly compute for the carrying value things like that okay and then subsequent recognition and measurement at the end of the reporting period how do you compute or how do you present property plan and equipment and then we'll also ta be tackling depletion of natural resources and impairment of property plan and equipment when can you say that an asset is impaired for intangible assets, we have the different kinds of intangible ad, uh, assets like copyright, trademark, franchise, patent. And then how do we recognize and measure them? And then how do we subsequently measure them and present them in the financial statement? And 
how do we do the amortization and compute for the carrying value of these intangible assets? Investment in equity and debt securities will be talking about different financial assets at fair value through PNL, uh, FAFBPLOC, uh, sorry, FAFBOCI, and then financial assets at amortized cost. Dito rin po natin ipapasok yung investment in associate wherein a company owns 20% or more of the voting rights in a company which exercises significant influence. Diyan din po natin yan did discuss Then we also have investment property and non-current assets. How do we properly re recognize and measure investment properties and then the subsequent measurement of investment properties and we will be also tackling about other non-current assets that should be reported in the balance sheet. And then we will go to biological assets which uh, which will be talking about uh, we will be talking about agri agricultural produce the initial recognition and measurement of biological assets and the subsequent measurement of biological assets okay so i think that's everything so uh, again please like share and subscribe to search who was accounting lessons ph and again for your question comments and suggestions you may put them down in the comment section below and you may message me at kevin troy the chua1994 at gmail.com this has been sir chua's accounting lessons ph to god be all the glory honor and praise thank you very much for all of your support and see you in the next video thank you and have a great day